welcome, gang, to Hildegard's Radio Room to the music of Harry Sosnick and his orchestra. Our special guest of the evening, there goes the spotlight, and here she comes, our vivacious star, the incomparable Hildegard. Happy day, toodle doodle 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 day for you and me, for us and we. All the clouds have rolled away. It's a half half happy day, toodle doodle 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 day. The sun shines bright and the world's all right. It's a half half happy day. Four and twenty sunbeams are dancing round my face. Four score and twenty more are dancing every place. It's a half, half, happy day. Toodle, doodle, 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 doodle day. You can't go wrong if you sing a song. It's a half, half, happy day. Four and twenty sunbeams are dancing round my face. Four score and twenty more are dancing every place. It's a half, half, happy day. Toodle, doodle, 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 doodle day. You can't go wrong if you sing a song. It's a half, half, Happy day! Thank you, thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Hildegard, it's going to be a little tough to catch a masculine eye tonight. There's someone mighty beautiful here, and I'm not looking at you, Willie Howard. Uh, good evening, Paulette. Good evening, Paulette. Oh, and there's Harry Conover, and Mr. and Mrs. Bigelow of Chicago, and my cousin, Dr. William Germain of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, my cousin from Wisconsin. Uh, Harry Sawsnake, what are we waiting for? Let's walk around and say hello. There we go. Oh! Well, well, there he is, surrounded by an admiring throng of celery and olives. One of the great comedians of our time, Willie Howard. Good evening, Willie. Good evening, Willie. Have you ordered your dinner yet? I certainly did. I called over the waiter. I said, Garçon, that means Garçon. <laughs> Fix for me one Chateaubriand à la province pour y marcher de l'heure, cause ça va mon le lutte, with one oui, oui, knish. What in the world is that? A meatball, but with French dressing. <laughs> so, Hildegard, will you do me a favor? Yes. You know that man sitting over there? Where? That man sitting over oh, there. Oh, of course. That is the famous Harry Conover, the big model man. Mm -hmm. Do you want to meet him? Meet him? Nothing. I want to meet one of the big models. <laughs> All right, I'll ask him over. Oh, Harry Conover. Good evening, Hildegard. Good evening, Harry. Harry, this is Willie Howard. Willie was hoping he could meet one of the famous Conover models tonight. Hmm, well, it so happens I'm with the very glamorous cover girl who's celebrating her birthday tonight. Oh. You know, she's the most attractive young lady model for many pictures and has loads of personality. On Enough of the commercial. Where's the dame? Come on. <laughs> yes. Harry, Harry, could you ask her over? Uh, certainly. Oh, Marcia, could you come up a moment? Oh. Oh. Isn't she up rather late? She's a little kid. <laughs> Hey, you got a bigger sample? What is this? <laughs> Marsha McClellan, this is Hildegard and Willie Howard. How do you do? Happy birthday, Marsha. She can't be no more than seven. I hate. She's eight. She keeps her age well. <laughs> How old are you, Miss... What is it? How old are you, Miss Hildegard? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> She keeps the race well, too. How old are you, Mr. Howard? What? You look older. <laughs> Go with your farina. <clears throat> Willie, I think you ought to go back to your meatball and Marsha to your birthday cake while I go to sing a song. I have a very beautiful song called Till the End of Time in which the Dudley King Chorus will join me. <laughs> Long as 
as stars are in the blue. Long as there's a spring, a bird to sing, I'll go on loving you. Till the end of time, long as roses bloom in May, my love for you will grow deeper with every passing day. Till the wells run dry And each mountain disappears I'll be there for you to care for you Through laughter and through tears So take my heart in sweet surrender And tenderly say that I the one you love and live for till the end of from my personal manager, always interrupting my tour de chante. That means routine in Milwaukee French. <laughs> now, now, let's see. Oh, it says, uh, why don't you ask Paulette Goddard to come up to the floor? Nobody's looking at you anyway. <laughs> well, I'm not going to... S well, I like that. I'm going to send this dress right back in the morning. It's not doing a thing for me. All right, Harry, hurry me over to that very exciting Hollywood star, Miss Paulette Goddard. <laughs> Paulette, we're so thrilled to have you here. If I could only find the words to tell you how dazzling, how stimulating your presence oh, is. Oh, thank you, Hildegard. You found too many words already. Well, Paulette, I get completely swept away every time I see a glamorous Hollywood personality. You're not running for Congress, are you? <laughs> well, I guess my words were a little loose. Do I... Do I make myself clear? <laughs> do you get it? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> oh, well, at least I try. Uh, but what brought you east, Paulette? Well, I thought I might do a play if I could find the right one. Mm, I'm sure plenty of authors have made plays for you. Not the right kind. <laughs> oh, those wolves. Why is it that the colder you treat men, the pestier they become? Well, I have a system of my own. I get rid of them by being especially sweet. And it works? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there's Bud Collier heading this way. We shall see. Oh, Hildegard, there's something very important that... Uh, but it can wait. <laughs> 
Oh, Paulette, this is Bud Collier, the famous radio actor. Say, we can make beautiful music together, and I know the right tunes. Oh, isn't he witty and so different? Uh, what are you doing tonight, beautiful? Well, I, uh, uh huh? Well, since I met you, I feel all different here. Where? Never mind. Oh. Can't you see that we were meant for each other? <laughs> Gee, it's getting, getting hot in here. I gotta be going. So long, I'm going to a Turkish bath. Bud, what for? To cool off. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Goddard. It's awfully meant to have niced you. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, well, I still can't believe it. Well, it works every time. Uh oh, here comes another one. Oh, Hildegard, I was just going. <laughs> Oh, Paulette, this is Ed Hurley, the Universal Newsreel reporter. Uh, uh, go ahead, Paulette. He looks tougher. Oh, Ed, you great, big, wonderful man. Where have you been all my life? Come to me. <laughs> point. <laughs> oh, Hildegard. Uh-oh. It's Harry Sosnick, our conductor. Oh, here's a girl I'd like to know. Woo-woo. <laughs> oh. Why, you big, strong, handsome brute. You're gorgeous. I know. <laughs> Paulette, there's something wrong. Well, this'll scare him off. Harry, darling, hold me tight. Kiss me. Okay. <laughs> Your system isn't working I know, but this is a better one <laughs> Well, treat him gently, Paulette You see, he has to conduct his new arrangement of Tico Tico tonight Harry, you should be inspired after kissing Paulette Goddard What? What? I kissed Paulette Goddard? Quick, give me water What? <laughs> <laughs> the new arrangement of Tico Tico with the Dudley King Chorus with the orchestra conducted by the new Harry Sosny. <laughs> Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, my good friends, Dorothy Fields and Sigmund Romberg wrote the score for the hit musical Up in Central Park. And the big song is the lovely, closest pages in a book. We'll be close as pages in a book, my love and I. So close, we can share a single look, share every thought. So close, that before I hear your laugh, my laugh. the greatest victory of all time, I'd like to add my sentiments with the victory polka. It's here at last, that hallelujah day. All the boys will soon be home to stay. Let a million bands begin to play, celebrating the victory polka. Because we've lit the lamp of liberty in each black outland across the sea. Every man can proudly say I'm free, celebrating the victory polka. Come on, let's give a mighty cheer. Soon a ration book will be a souvenir, and we'll heave a mighty sigh. Soon each gal will kiss the boy she kissed goodbye. They'll all be coming down Fifth Avenue, the United Nations in review. Cause that lovely dream we dream came true. We're all dancing the victory polka. Dance, dance, dance the victory polka. Join, join, join the merry throng. Sing, sing, sing the victory polka. Raise your voices loud and strong. They'll all be coming down Fifth Avenue. The United Nations in review. Cause that lovely dream we dream came true. We're all dancing the victory polka. Oh, Paulette, Paulette, you mentioned earlier that you wanted to do a play. Well, we have a man here who knows all about the New York theater. Uh, Willie Hard, will you please step up? Thank you. Willie, may I present Paulette Goddard to you? Wrap her up. This is a good size sample. <laughs> Willie's a real part of Broadway. The old street sure needs an overhauling. <laughs> My dear lady, do you realize to whom you are addressing, to whom... Hmm. Here's my card. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, Professor William Noel Howard. Star made in 30 days, pants pressed overnight. Well, the guy's got to make a living. <clears throat> but, Miss Goddard, if you want to do a play, are you sure you can act? Well, I'm in the movies. Answer the question. <laughs> my dear professor, what's your idea of acting? Your secret. 
My dear pupil, on the stage, the first thing a girl should have is this you got. <laughs> Uh, Willie is so interested in the theatre. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Willie, Willie, I'm addressing you. Yes. What else is important, Willie? Well, imagination. The drama and little things. Tell me, Miss Goddard, what did you have for breakfast today? Well, I ate two hard boiled eggs. Look how she said, I ate two hard boiled eggs. <laughs> you should say it this way I ate two hard boiled eggs. <laughs> They weren't that bad. You're improving already. <clears throat> now all she needs is a good play. Well, she's lucky because right here with me is my prodigy, the great playwright, Aloysius Kelly. <clears throat> oh, that's wonderful. Bring him up. Oh, oh, Mr. Kelly, would you step up? Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Gee, Mr. Howard, you look so nice standing there with those two beautiful flowers, just like a pot. <laughs> You see how poetical he is? He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Mr. Kelly, please tell us about your new play. Well, it's perfect for Miss Goddard. A lady spy meets an American soldier in France, and right from the start, they grab each other with scrawl me. There is no way for speed because she has a slam, which has never been promised, fans. That's why the entire squad is safe, and we have a scrawl. <laughs> what can you expect from a soldier? <laughs> then what? Well, he follows her to the Africa, and he finally catches up with her, and he tells her about the probe. He grabs her in his own face, and he knows she is the one that has never braved. That is the whole point, Ben. You mean right in the jungle? <laughs> no, in the road, they stand free. In the farm team? Yes, that's the tree, that's the stand. Oh, good. How do you like it so far, Miss Goddard? Well, I was hoping to do a play in English. <laughs> Listen, don't interrupt. Go on. Ah, but the lady's spy is smarter than he thinks, because the secret plans are hidden right in her foil, fans <laughs> They'll never find it. <laughs> never. Go on, Katie. Uh, but what happens to the sailor she is in love with in New York? What, what is she, she talking, talking about? about? Well, just in the nick of time, the American soldier grabs the Nazi, and he grows his entire face in. He has no way of taking back the cause, because just with the face has ever been seized, we know we have... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't give away the whole plot. <laughs> My, what a story. <laughs> well, Miss Goddard, will you take the play? Frankly, I'll take the whole ball day. <laughs> Goddard and Willie Howard. That was wonderful. And now it is grand finale time, and I would like to sing Emmerich Kalman's Sigh by Night from the charming musical Marinka. <laughs> Hear my 
my pleas If the breeze is right All my love in the sun By now Whoa, Nelly that's the horse. That's the same horse. Softly the night wind, warm wind and light wind, sings of romance with such appeal. Handsome who's ours out, put their cigars out, reach for a peppermint pastille. Sweethearts kiss, the hour has come, cabs are at a premium. Tender the laughter following after every turning wheel. I know where there's a cab we could catch. Gray horse and little cushions to match. We have bright new covers made from Cretan. And the jump seat's nice to put your feet on. Lie back. Oh, how relaxing it feels. Lie back, it's like a dive and on wheels. Perfect follow-upper to a champagne supper is to stop and to hop in or drop, in or flop, into Papa New Cat. Oh, I know where there's a cab we could catch. Gray horse and little cushions to match. Where your words of love will not embarrass. For the horse worked several years in Paris. We'll ride around the ring in the park. We'll sing until we wake in the lark. And the dawn grows rosy. You'll be oh so cozy if you stop and you hop in or flop, in or flop into Papa New Cat. Whoa, Mary. That does it for this evening, and now this is Hildegard saying thank you, and a good, good night wherever you are. Goodbye, and God bless you all. Radio Room starring Hildegard came to you from New York. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. Let's get together for a while. Forget the weather, you can smile. Get in good condition, just relax and have some fun. Every inhibition you can tear down, let your hair down. Loosen up and grin a little grin. Give the sun a doorway to get in. Like a daisy, you'll be perking. Your sense of humor's working. So gather round and have a little fun. Come on, everybody. Loosen up and grin a little grin. Give the sun a doorway to get in. Like a daisy, you'll be perking. If your sense of humor's working, so gather round 